today i am going to explain solid states chemistry in plus 2 matter exists mainly three forms solid liquid and gas apart from this one more form is also there that is plasma the above forms depend upon two factors one intermolecular forces of attraction to thermal energy that is the intermolecular attraction keep the particle closer keep the particle closer thermal energy keep the particle apart it is away from the away from one another then characteristic of solid the main character of solid is rigid and they possess definite volume mass and shape they are incompressible why solid or rigid means the particles are held by strong intermolecular forces of attraction. Why they possess definite volume means vibrate around a fixed location why they are incompressible mean by applying stress that is by applying pressure there is no change in volume no change in volume then classification of solid classification of solid they are classified into crystalline and amorphous how they are classified that is how solids are classified into crystalline and amorphous mean based on nature of arrangement of particles that is nature of arrangement of arrangement that is order arrangement that is order of particle in their position common example of crystalline solid is sodium chloride quartz amorphous solid glass plastic, rubber, etc. Then one main important question here is whether quartz or quartz class is amorphous or crystalline. Here Quartz is crystalline, but quartz class is amorphous. How to distinguish? That is, quartz class is crystalline, and quartz is crystalline, quartz class is amorphous. In quartz, 
the particle that that is atom or molecule the particles are arranged long range of order long range of order so due to long range of order they have definite geometry that is shape definite geometry then due to definite geometry they possess definite melting point and boiling point here opposite not long range of order is short range of order only no definite shape that is no definite geometry definite there is no definite melting point and boiling point suddenly changes so the so they have no definite melting and boiling point then crystalline solid are true solid true solid amorphous solid are pseudo solid or pseudo that is important pseudo or super cooled liquids super cooled liquids pseudo solid means they act as solid that is pseudo which is solid amorphous solid super cooled liquid mean at high temperature without any short transition passes into mobile liquid hence it is called super cooled liquid then the other important character of crystalline and amorphous solid is crystalline solid possess an isotropy and isotropic property isotropy amorphous solid isotropy amorphous solid isotropy so an isotropy one best example when a beam of light is passed through a crystalline solid the light is split into two components one travel in the vertical direction another one travel in the horizontal that is slanting direction in vertical direction all the atoms are that is all the particles are same in horizontal alternate particles are same that is the light will travel different direction with a different velocity that is very important here the light travel different direction in different velocity that is known as double diffraction this is the strong evidence for the an isotropic character of crystalline solid so what is an isotropic mean the properties of the crystalline solid are different in properties are different in different direction here same in all the direction that is amorphous solid then crystalline solid are classified into crystalline solid are classified into four types on the basis of intermolecular forces inter molecular forces what are they mean one molecular solid a molecular solid b ionic solid c metallic solid d covalent or 
network solid this molecular solid are again classified into three types non polar molecular solid polar molecular solid hydrogen bonded molecular solid polar molecular solid non polar hydrogen bonded in non polar molecular solid the constituent may be atoms or molecules atoms means helium or argon molecules means hydrogen chlorine iodine here the force of attraction is london or dispersion that is weak forces attraction london or dispersion second type polar molecular solid here the force of attraction is dipole dipole interaction dipole dipole interaction example is solid nature of sulfur dioxide ammonia carbon dioxide solid nature of sulfur dioxide ammonia carbon dioxide then hydrogen bonded molecular solid here hydrogen is covalently bonded with highly electro highly electro negative atoms such as nitrogen or oxygen or fluorine etc so here hydrogen bond how a hydrogen bond is formed mean when hydrogen is covalently bonded with highly electro negative atoms such as nitrogen oxygen fluorine etc the example is glucose glucose urea solid form of water that is ice solid form of ice water that is ice in metallic solid sorry second one ionic solid ionic solid the ions namely cation and anion they are hard and brittle they are very hard and brittle why they are brittle mean that is brittle mean is it is easily breakable in example sodium chloride in solid nature sodium chloride does not conduct electricity but in when dissolved in water it will conduct electricity in solid state it is act as does not conduct mean it act as insulator insulator why it act as insulator because there is no ions here but when dissolved in suitable solvent like water the intermolecular forces disappear in between sodium and chlorine the intermolecular forces disappear so ions are formed the ions are migrated that is move from one electrode to another electrode hence it conduct current in which state it conduct current molten or dissolved in suitable solvent like water here the responsible one is ions then third one metallic solid here positive ions are positive ions are immersed in a delocalized electrons the bond is metallic bond within the sphere of influence they form metallic bond they are hard malleable 
and ductile nature malleable and ductile then the last one covalently bonded crystals a covalent crystal or network of network here it exists mainly in non metals non metals example silicon carbide allotropic form of carbon that is graphite and diamond graphite and diamond the special character of graphite is graphite conduct current how graphite is layered structure layered structure here it contain four valence electron four valence electron among the four three forms bonded with three neighboring atom of the same layer one electron in between the layer between the layer this electron is mobile in character that is movable character movable character this electron is responsible for conduction of current in graphene so what's the which electron one electron that is in between the layer not the three electron in the same layer then the sp another special character of graphite is it acts as lubricant what are lubricant one who reduce the friction that is used in motor engines how they act as lubricant mean due to the layered structure they are slide that is one layered structure slip over the other slip slip over the other hence it acts as lubricant